Hey everyone, welcome to 300 and Second Craft. It's uh, 1 in the morning. So you know, perfect time, right? We're going to be watching 17 Unexpected Ways to Make Old Things New Again. And, you know, we're just really... <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, this is one of the last few episodes of this season uh i don't know if i'll make a second one because like you know i like it but i want to i want to feel as though i'm doing new things with art i want to advance myself i want to grow more i don't know why i'm watching the ad i don't want to support these people by the way if you do want to support a youtuber sit through the ads i don't think i have ads on my videos yet but if i ever do all right Someone squirting green Hellman's mayonnaise into a glass. 11 ways to make old things look new. All right. They've got a rusty old pot. They're dumping baking soda on it, and they're spraying it with vinegar. And then they're just going to sponge it off. I guess it's a life hack in that it, you know, it, it does, you know. Stay in mattress. Don't jack off in bed. Put baking soda and vinegar into a little spray bottle, I guess, and then put some dish soap in there, and then just squirt that on there, and then lay down and sleep in it. Just right on in there. Just get all the way in there. Let it dry. All right. I had to pause my recording there for a second. Someone's left a billion rings from their glass on the table. Just squirt mayonnaise all over it? And then mop it up, and then they cut to it being pretty much gone. There's got to be a better way. Don't squirt mayonnaise on your tables. Go to hell. Are you crazy? All right. Someone's got a spray bottle. They're dumping a glass glass of Coke in there. And then they're pouring in Colgate brand toothpaste. And then they are putting the squirt thing on top of it, shaking it up. And then they're just squirting it into their disgusting sink. All right. And then they sponge it off, and I guess it's good, I think. I don't know. All right. Ugly towel holder? Well, you may as well just kill yourself. Cover it in ketchup? No! That's a war crime. They just dumped ketchup all over a metal thing in their shower and then sponged it everywhere? Okay. Don't clean your toilet enough? Dump an entire two-liter bottle of Coke in there. And then let it sit and then flush it. There's better ways to do it. Your stupid kid's drawing on the wall. Hair dryer. We've seen this one. Do people just not train their... Like, that kid is like a nine-year-old child. Honestly. This is the same video, by the way, of... Okay, so first there was the same video of someone trying to get a, a sticker off of a chair and using a hairdryer. And then we had the same video of someone trying to use, trying to make sure that their uh, their couch didn't depress the, the rug. All right, so someone rubbed, what the hell? Hold on, let me back up. I was talking. Someone lit a little tea light candle and burnt an egg with it. And then they put the, they rubbed the, burnt egg off onto a makeup remover I think and then they put some toothpaste on there and then they rubbed it on a, a camera lens and apparently it cleaned it unusual uses for toothpaste use it to clean the taps in your house sure I guess use it to polish your headlights what jack off cares about what his headlights look like as long as they make you able to see things at night you should be good right whatever an iron Removing the stains from your urn, your clothing iron, by the way, not like, you know, steel. Cutting a fish. All right. Removing strong odors. Wash your hands with toothpaste. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's a little cursed, don't you think? Defogging your goggles. Oh, no. They just rubbed toothpaste in there, I think. I didn't really see it, though. Polishing silver, they've got a clearly faux silver chain, and then they just rub toothpaste all over it. That's ugly. Scratch CD. Uh, sure. 
Just rub toothpaste on it. I'm never convinced. I know for a fact that this channel actually has used manipulative editing in the past to fake things. And, like, there's a bunch of videos of, like, hi, I'm an actual chef. And as one person who actually cares about the content they produce, I can't keep up with all the bullshit that these channels make. But let me just talk about this video in particular. These life hacks don't work. Here's why. I'm a chef and I'm an actual professional. Here's why you can't just dump eggs and milk and marshmallows into a box and microwave it and then expect to have flan, I think. That's what they tell you that you'll get. And like, okay, someone's got a ridiculously orange armpit. I suppose it's meant to be from sweat, but it looks like a marker. If your t-shirt is too old, they have an edgy leather face t-shirt. And then they've done this to, hold on, how many was that? How many t-shirts was that? Okay, so they cut the middle part out of a ratty old t-shirt. Luckily, the middle part is completely fine. And it looks like 20 different t-shirts... Because it's four across, and no, it's also four tall. So it's because the the you know the t-shirt part is longer than it is wide. So sixteen t-shirts. If you have sixteen t-shirts, you're holding on to whatever. Anyway, then they sew them together, and then they have an ugly quilt. Cool, useful. And then they sleep in it on their white sheets and their white pillow. That t-shirt has been through the war. I don't know which one, but certainly one of them. Anyway, they cut it into strips, and then they tied one strip around it, and then they just tied it to a mop as though you can't just buy a mop. Also, mops aren't really great for cleaning. Get a Swiffer. It's 2020 now. I did have to check, yes. Okay, this is one that I've actually done. They put an old t-shirt around a box. You tie the back of the t-shirt around the box and you tuck the sleeves in and then the neck hole opens to the cardboard box and then your cats go in there. I actually, this is the, this is one of the only life hacks I've actually done and it actually worked. It's also one of the few that actually takes five minutes or less. All right. There's an aged t-shirt with gross armpits. You put hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and toothpaste in there. Sure, I guess. All right, someone's cutting like a tank top into strips. Stretchy ones. And then they're folding them over one another. Tucking them in. Okay. And then they tie it to make like an Irish knot or whatever. And then they sew the ends together. And then what, you have a hair tie? Yeah, look at that. It's an okay hair tie. Requires you to sacrifice a t-shirt, but whatever, go off, I guess. So they're cutting the end of a t-shirt into fringe, and then they're tying the fringe off. And then they've looped it in a circle, and now it's an ugly scarf, or perhaps a hangman's noose for a trendy execution. Okay, they've made a square out of t-shirt fabric, and then they cut the corners off to make a really fat cross and then they cut those into fringes and then they tie the fringes together okay and then they put a pillow inside okay and then they tie the last line of fringes together and now you have an ugly throw pillow that's literally just tied together okay they've got a Nike brand what is that polo shirt and they cut the middle open and then they put a bunch of fringe on the end and now it's an ugly bathrobe or some shit i don't know what that's supposed to be okay they've cut strips into a shirt and then they tie it off and then they tie one strip to the next one and they make a fisherman's net maybe it's like a shibari thing that might be why i don't get it They've made, uh, oh, it's for your potted goddamned plants. Of course it is. Everyone has billions and billions of plants in their house. It's a requirement of living in the 300 second craft world. Okay. So they're just making a weird loop of things. Oh, it's a little button. Okay. So they like, 
they basically did a thing where they just they cover a hole by color by covering it with colorful yarn like a hole in your jacket or whatever this person's jeans don't fit that's what jeans are supposed to do you know hey people who like skinny jeans whatever uh, that's right i said it you know now the jeans are form fitting and will crush her buttocks into mush all right some kid is hold on let me skip this back some kid has plucked the head off of a doll and is sitting in a pile of stuffed animals and then it cuts to someone putting a pin on the head of a of a dog that's been cut off yeah okay so there's a dog toy like a toy of a dog someone exacto knifes the head off that's gruesome and then a hot glue gun comes out fuck yeah okay they put a pin in there oh whatever and then they push the pin through the dog and then they put it in your ear like an earring that's ugly that's a whole that's disgusting Okay, someone's got one of those radical plastic dinosaurs. Hell yeah, I love plastic dinosaurs. They get a hacksaw and they cut it in half. You're, I'm with you so far. They cover the butt half with hot glue and then they put a suction cup on there. You're losing me. And then they put an iPhone on it. And they're watching Game of Thrones? <laughs> that might be a first. All right, this kid's playing with stuffed animals. And then the mom walks in on him and, like, catches him as though he's doing something illegal, I think. But then he stuffs them inside a bean bag, and now he's just playing with one SpongeBob toy. Okay. So put food-safe glue on the bottom of an Egyptian Bastet statue, put it in a coffee cup, and then fill it with tea, and now you can drink it and reveal the cat. Yeah, it's that same boy they've given this to. Oh, the cat's in there. Isn't that horrible? Free me. All right, someone plucks the head off of a doll. I don't trust that doll. She's got turf bangs. Oh, they glue her head to a ring. And then you just put it on your finger like that's a normal thing to do. What the hell? Yeah, she's got obnoxiously blue dyed hair. Like more obnoxious than the time that I dyed my hair blue. And also a lot of my skin blue. Don't trust splat. It's incredibly toxic. It's just fabric dye that they call hair dye. And then, okay, so they're putting it, okay, so they cut the head, I, I, I'm rambling. They cut a head off of a teddy bear. And then they stuffed a jar in into the teddy bear's carcass. And then they glued the lid of the jar onto the teddy bear's neck hole. And then they screw the jar on it. This girl has a teddy bear next to her. She's on her iPhone. She's like, mm, she's looking side to side. And then she opens the teddy bear and starts eating M&Ms out of his torso. And then she hugs the teddy bear and looks side to side suspiciously. Why are people so weird? Okay, someone's got a bunch of army men. A bunch of the little green army men. They filled the bowl with them and then they squished a bowl in between in them. Like in the bowl. And then so the army men are in the middle as a sort of matrix. And then it leaves a bowl shape of army men. And then you spray paint them green. And then you put fruit in there. Wax fruit. Useless, useless wax fruit. How great. Mm. Okay, someone's got a cow. They hacksaw it in twain. Right down the prime meridian. And then they spray paint the front half yellow. Where are they going with this? Okay. And then they hot glue it to a piece of wood. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be like a coat rack. Okay, so they've done this to four other cows and they hang a goddamned coat on it. Of course they do. All right, plastic dinosaur toy. They drill into the spine of it and out through the, the penis hole. I'm not afraid to say it. Out through the crotchal region. And then it's a toothbrush holder. Sure. Okay. They've got another one of these like ugly mason jars. They glue a stegosaurus by the looks of it to the top. It's a little anatomically incorrect stegosaurus, but you know, go off. Then they spray paint it gold. And now it's 
a thing to hold your candy. And they've done it to four other dinosaurs, preserving them like in that James Bond movie. You guys know James Bond was like horrifically racist in the books? At one point he said that Koreans were like the most vile things, the, the most vile people on the planet and barely above apes. That's not a joke. I think he's talking to Goldfinger. I completely talked over this craft, but basically they just glued a bunch of cars on a picture frame and it's, you know, trendy. This woman puts a plastic bag on her shoulder, like a backpack. Six clever ways to use plastic bags. I'm going to pause this so I can go off my tangent. James Bond is like talking to Goldfinger, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Goldfinger. And Goldfinger talks about, in the book, he talks about how he only hires Korean people because they're the most like vicious, vile like humans on the planet. And James Bond agrees and to himself thinks that Koreans are just above like apes or on the same level, which is already reprehensible. And like, yeah, I know it's like, like North Korea is a thing, but that book is so old. I'm pretty sure it predates North Korea. And also it's still a horrible thing to write off an entire like demographic of people as being the bad one. Like that's about as, you know classically racist as you can get so they definitely they definitely you know get the hell away from that in the modern movies and even the older ones there's another weird thing sean connery the james bond actor he once talked about like how i, I heard this from a friend of mine he talked about how like he, he said it was only okay to beat a woman if uh if she thought that she could get the last word in an argument. And first of all, what the hell? And then I asked him when it was. I was like, was this the 60s, the 70s? He was like, no, it was the 90s. And I said, what the fuck? Like, is Sean Connery alive? Let's see. Sean Connery. Still alive. Oh, well. His time's running out, right? Let me scroll down to the bottom and see if there's a uh, political opinion. Scottish National Party. He was knighted. Okay. He's a first don in karate. What the hell? Yeah, Seanery has been quoted as saying that occasionally hitting a woman was no big deal. <laughs> Connery canceled an appearance at Scottish Parliament because of the controversy and has been said that he has been misquoted and that any abuse of women is unacceptable. Interesting. <laughs> what the hell, Sean Connery? Yeah, what on earth? That's just all kinds of weird, y'all. He's now officially retired. And then he, he unretired to appear as the star in a movie called Billy the Vet, Sir Billy, Garden of the Highlands, uh, which I believe was a trash movie. Um, yeah. And the reason I know about it is because I saw him, I saw this movie in the bargain bin of DVDs at the grocery store I worked at like two years ago. Maybe three years ago. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, this is a bargain bin piece of shit movie. Why is Sean Connery in it? And then I see on this Wikipedia article, it's the thing that he unretired to appear in. So, yeah, that's a uh, that's your blast of news and stuff for the day. <laughs> Back to the life hacks. All right. Someone's got an H&M band brand plastic bag. They put a crucifix of sonic straws on it. Those those big red straws you get in your icy or whatever, your Slurpee. Oh, it's a kite. Okay, so they just cut off the corners and made it into a a diamond or a rhombus. Rhombuses are equal, right? Anyway, then they just put a they put a string on it and now it's a kite. Sure. Okay, someone's got a plastic bag and they're holding it over the light of a camera to even out the light. That's disgusting. All right. Someone's got an Ikea brand plastic bag. You know, Ikea is technically considered a nonprofit organization. They make money because not all of the organization is nonprofit. Just the part that makes furniture. Weird, huh? Anyway, now you can have a smaller 
a plastic bag because they cut in half with a thousand degree knife. Um, all right, plastic bag, and then you put your plastic bag in it. This isn't a, I guess this is a life hack, but this isn't new. Everyone does this. You're not legally considered an adult until you have a plastic bag full of other plastic bags in your house. All right, they're tying off the top and then they put it into a pillowcase. Oh, that's disgusting. Waterproof outdoor pillow. Go to hell. No. Recycle those. All right, someone's stacking a bunch of identical plastic bags together. They put a bowl on it, and they draw two circles using the bowl as a guide. And now they have, like, ten circles of plastic. They fold that into, like, eighths, and then they round it out, and then they unfold it. And then they push a wire through the middle. And then they just tease it up and put some tape around the end. And now it's like a flower, except it's made of actual, literal trash. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, just go ahead. Put that in your plastic plants. Go to hell. Plastic bag life hacks. That man has a plastic bag on his head. Do not show that in your video. I know that, like, this is, it's, it's you know, censorship is not good and stuff. But, like, dude, don't put your head in a plastic bag and put it on YouTube for a billion children to see. This video has a million views. Did anyone say anything about that? Oh, my God. Don't shout fire in a, pl in a crowded theater because people are going to believe you. Don't put a fucking plastic bag on your head and say it's a life hack because people are going to do it. Ugh. Oh, many Christmas. That's a stupid one. Ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Anyway, back into it. Someone puts a plastic bag around their rich-ass brand shoes. And then they the plastic bags are covered in shit, but their shoes are clean and ugly. Someone puts a plastic bag on a pan. And then they pour paint in there and they put a paint roller in there. And now you don't need a uh, paint tin, I guess. Okay, someone is just showing you the right way to stuff plastic bags into a tissue box. So you can pull one out and then grab the next one out. And then they undo their work. <laughs> sure. Basically, you just stuff the, the tissue. The, the, you stuff it into the tissue bag and then you put the next plastic bag through the handle of the first one. All right, they're pouring a bunch of ingredients. I wasn't paying attention, but some of them are milk. Some of them are oil, motor oil or like cooking oil. And then they cut the end off of it and then they just squirt it into a pan. And it makes, oh, it makes a little pancake. I guess that makes sense considering all the flour that went in. Yeah, you can use it to do pancake. Genius ways to fix a broken nail. Just cut that one off, dude. It's like, it's 90% of the way done for you. Okay. They are cutting slits into a tea bag. And now they've just cut a piece out of the tea bag, like a little square out of the tea bag. Put a base coat on. And then they put the tea bag thing over it, okay? And then they put another base coat on and then they cut off the remainder and sand it down with a nail file. And then they put another layer on. Just cut the nail. I don't know how worth it that is, you know? Okay. No, don't do this, it says. I don't know what the... Oh, they took the ring off, and then they put it into a saucepan full of Coca-Cola. And then they scoop it out with a spoon. And now it's slightly better, I guess? Okay, someone's trying to put a disc of makeup into their bag, but the bag is too thin. And then they drop it on the floor. And it cracks. Okay, so they pour rubbing alcohol into it and mush it back down with a spoon. And now it's flat again. Okay, I guess that's kind of helpful, actually. That one isn't too, too bad. All right, someone's trying to do their lipstick. They break their lipstick off. It might have been too long. Like, you might have just got too much out. 
but they use a little tea light. These people must go through thousands of fucking tea lights. They use the tea lights to melt the the wax of the lipstick down, and then they fuse it back together, and then you can use it. Um, they do the same thing to a one that broke more severely, and then they dump it into, I guess, a little lip kit, a little empty one. Um, and they pour in four flavors of lipstick. I mean, colors, the flavors. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Uh, and then someone with a little, little paintbrush just comes in and dabs it on there. Someone sat in gum, I think. How to save damaged objects. They've got a rusty ancient wrench that your grandfather used. They pour a bunch of Coke into a cup and put the wrench in. And they take the wrench out, and now it's clean and not rusty. Right. Someone's got gum on the butt of their jeans. They put an ice cube on there. And then they rub it on there, and then they break, they peel it off. I suppose that's okay. That's inoffensive. All right, someone did the thing where they peel a sticker off and the sticker doesn't come off because it's physically impossible to do so. But with WD-40, you can do it. Also, they already showed us a couple life hacks of how to do that. Again, using WD-40, you can fix a crack in something. I don't know what it is they didn't show us. I think it's a couch, considering that there's a throw pillow on it. Okay, what the hell am I looking at? It looks like, okay, so someone's got a sweater. And then they hold hands over the sweater and then they draw out a pattern of them holding hands on it. Oh my God. Okay. So that's what I was looking at. And they make mittens out of the sweater by cutting the sweater into little ribbons into, into pieces rather in large chunks. And then they have hand holding, they have a hand holding sweater. Okay, so in the middle, you, you have your left hand and her right hand in the ugly, like, cornered sleeve thing, and you hold hands in there, and then you each have a sweater mitten on your out hand. I guess that's fine. Okay, someone's cut the sleeves off a sweater to make it an ugly three-quarter sweater. They put... Uh, okay, so they put flippers on it. They put slippers and or flip-flops on it and use it as a guide to cut out shoe patterns. And then they cut out the shoes and then they take the sleeves and they sh they sew the shoe patterns to the bottoms and then you have socks i guess you can just buy socks you know this requires you to ruin a sweater and then do a bunch of extra work and then you have socks that look kind of you know shitty instead of just buying socks and then you still have a sweater you know it's not that much of a life hack okay in this one, they've cut the sleeve off of a sweater and used it as a thing to put wine in. I don't really give people wine as a present, you know? I suppose that, like, I might do it at some point, but, like, saying, hey, get drunk on me is usually not how I want to go about my gifts. Like, I had the opportunity to do that last Christmas, and I just chose not to, you know? And I think I'll do that in the future. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be narrating this. Uh, someone cut the top off of, of a sweater, and then they put a pillow in there, and then they sewed up both ends, and now you have an ugly throw pillow again. How many throw pillows does one house need? And that's the last hack. What a wet fart to end it on. Um, cripes. That's 300 Second Crap Baby. Um, I'm definitely going to do one more episode after this, but I'm not sure how many I'll do after that. Uh... I think next one might be the season finale, if not the one after that. Uh, be good to yourself. You know, get some sleep, take a nap if you need one. Uh, don't be racist. And don't be women. You know, don't be like Sean Connery. You know. Bit of an odd uh, note to end this on, but uh, considering the day that I've been having, I think it's a little apt my brain's been in uh, 80 different places, which is why I decided to make one of these. Because, hey, I'm distracting myself. That's your second crap, baby. Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. Have a good day.